Hello, everyone. Welcome back. This is Zen. Really excited to have this episode with you guys today. Today, we're going to continue the topic of NFTs. We've been talking a lot about NFTs the past week, and uh, we're going to get back into it. The NFT market is now worth more than $7 billion, and most of this has been built off the Ethereum network. I have a post saying, imagine what's going to happen once we bring in the scalability of the XRP ledger and unlock NFTs on the XRP ledger, Songbird, Flare. The more I research Flare and Songbird, the more I use it, I really believe that they're going to be basically juggernauts in this NFT revolution, Flare and Songbird. I'm going to show you a new article they had as well. Here we have JP Morgan basically fighting it, saying it's going it, it has some, it's going to basically some things like some hurdles, some obstacles to jump over. Anytime JP Morgan is fighting something, that's a bullish sign. And we all could also could see right here, this is posted at 10, 13, 10 03 a.m., that signature 13. Do not listen to what they say. So NFTs, a recent boom in NFT sales has catapulted the nascent market value of $7 billion, according to JP Morgan. The growth of the NFT market would be conditional on NFT market participants and regular, regulators addressing the legal issues facing the industry. So uh, that's what JP Morgan has to say. Bullish sign that it's now a $7 billion industry. People thought NFTs were a joke. And Flare and Rival enter NFT utility and DAO token partnership. What do they have to say? Flare, a scalable, low carbon, low cost, highly decentralized smart contract platform that runs on EVM, announced a partnership with Rival, a leading esports, gaming, and fan engagement enterprise platform to become a preferred NFT utility or DAO token platform for louder NFT marketplace. And Vez learned from a press release. So fans can trade, wrap, and engage on Songbird. Fans can now buy, sell, and wrap, engage as NFTs on Flare's Canary Network. Songbird, Flare, low carbon footprint, and Turing complete smart contracts allows fans to interact with their favorite teams on the blockchain. This does not come at the expense of environment because there are no costs typically associated with consensus solutions. We're going to see this $7 billion scale to numbers you wouldn't even believe possible in NFTs once we have the scalability. Partnering with Flare enables rivals to expand its ecosystem NFT capabilities for our clients across sports, brands, and media. This partnership augments the rival ecosystem and provides additional levers of engagement and community building with one of the fastest growing audience segments in the world. You also be rewarded with Flare and Songbird tokens for the rival users. Rival platform users will receive Flare, Songbird, and Flare token as rewards for gameplay and achievement. Moreover, they will have access to Bifrost wallet, wallets native to Flare and Songbird, enabling them to access their re rewards seamlessly. What more will they be able to trade for game passes, ticketing, NFTs, and branded client merchandise? Everything is going to be tokenized. Everything is going to be on these non-fungible uh, non tokens. The $7 billion that JP Morgan is saying the growth could be hindered, they're full of shit. I'm going to say it right now. It's going to be $70 billion real soon. This partnership, did I already read that? Rival is a community builder. What have I been saying? The future is going to be based on communities. We're done with centralization. We're, we're going to be moving into community-based world. Rival is a U.S.-based community developer with operations all over the world. The new partnership will give clients will give clients of the platform access to its offerings all over the world, spinning its global portfolio of organizations, professional sports team, and media properties. That's Hugo from from the that's the CEO Hugo from Flare. This partnership is the perfect match because esports have exploded in the last few years. Now, most of the major sports organizations in the world are looking for opportunities in gaming, which enable them to deepen truly to truly deepen their fan engagement by enabling a myriad of different use cases for user-generated NFTs. I really believe that Flare and Songbird is really going to dominate the NFT space. Announces today. So uh, for those of you uh, that have been part of, we're going to go into the board apes, basically the next step of the process of what you're going to do if you have this, if you delegate 1000 SGB on Epoch, uh, I forgot which number it was, you got this for free. A board apes uh, XRPL utility fork on SGB. You can read more about it uh, on their website under SGB. 
So the Bored Apes SGBs are coming out. It's a utility fork. There's only going to be 10,000 of these. So the first step is to get the whitelist NFT, which is this. So most people got this for free who delegated. If not, uh, there are 9,994 of these. That's it. And uh, they're currently on resale right now for about 1,000 SGB. The first that you need to claim this, you need to purchase this or make sure that you've claimed this if you delegate it to best FTSO. And once you have this, you're going to be able to generate your own BASGB NFT. So with this, you're able to purchase an ape. And from what I heard, it's no more than $100 USD to then purchase your ape. And you're going to get a unique BASGB ape basically um, once everything's live you will be able to redeem it for you'll you'll mint your own ape and then you'll have royalties on it etc basically so it's really exciting if you want the xrp ape it's going to be a little bit different story so the xrp ape requires a different set of process so the first board apes club have arrived on the XRP ledger. There will only be 10,000. If you want to become a member of the Board Ape Club, you'll need to have an ape. Make sure you join the Discord. So you want to join the Discord and get all the updates. But what is an ape? An ape is a Bay coin. They're currently uh, 980 for one Bay coin. You need 980 XRP for one Bay. And that one Bay is going to allow you to basically get one XRP ape. And there's only going to be 10,000 of them. So that is the process. If you want to get an XRP ape, you're going to need to buy Baycoin for 1,000 XRP and stay up to date with their Discord for when the, um, the mint will happen, probably in 2022. But um, yeah, these are hyped right now. If we look over here, we got Post Malone, Post Malone and Little Baby both talking about Bored Ape. Also, somebody online rejected Kylie Jenner. Kylie Jenner is trying to buy someone's Bored Ape and uh, they told basically told her to F off and they weren't going to sell their board ape to Kylie Jenner. So it's like kind of a hot topic. Little baby debuts board ape NFT Twitter avatar worth $150,000. I'm going to play you guys this video real quick, just so you kind of get the idea of what this culture is all about. It's, it's uh, pretty cool. collection of 10,000 different board ape and now let's dive in. The Board Ape Yacht Club is a unique NFT collection of 10,000 different Board Ape NFTs that live on the Ethereum blockchain. So looking at their gallery, we can take a look and see that all these different apes have different unique set of traits, right? So let's say we'll use Board Ape 6, for example, has a just this type of hat with a weird eyeballs kind of coming out of the eye socket. And then in this ape in Board Ape 7, we see that it has like an American helmet, different hair color as well as different eyes a different shirt from board ape six and so on and so forth now there's multiple apes with like let's say this trait but all of the apes have a different set of unique identifiable traits right so no ape will ever be exactly alike they will all have a mix of traits that makes it different from one another I would also like to know too that the traits actually have different levels of rarity tiers. So for example, let's say Bored Ape number one with these laser eyes is more rare than let's say Bored Ape number four with the closed eyes. With these different levels of rarity traits, it causes Bored Apes to have different valuations for each and every one. And you can find these Bored Apes on OpenSea if you'd like to purchase and check out some of these rarity traits. Now you might be asking, what are people currently paying for these apes? If we take a look at OpenSea, we can scroll down on their page and we can see that the lowest ape right now is selling for 39 Ethereum. And that is $126,000 at the time of recording, which is absolutely crazy. If we take a look at the volume actually right now, we can see that the volume of these apes has gone up dramatically since the time of release. You know, I mean, at one point on May 30th, May 29th, we had these selling for 0.8 Ethereum. And then we saw steady growth, steady growth, and then just a little bit of an explosion at the beginning of August, going all the way to up to 24 ETH. You're going down a little bit, then exploding again in the past week, hitting around 34 to 39 Ethereum. 
Now, like I said, you still may be wondering why are people paying this much money for an ape? And to answer that question, I would like to add that this NFT collection specifically has really caused for a cultural wave within the NFT community and partially bringing NFTs to the mainstream. This is one of the first NFT projects that truly brought community and NFTs together. Something about this artwork resonated with a lot of people in the NFT community, as well as a lot of normal people who were previously unacquainted to the crypto and NFT space. In life, right, it, there are certain brands, certain images that really stick out to you as in like, wow, I really enjoy this. Is there a way that I can be a part of it? Is there a way that I can rep it on a t-shirt? Is there a way I can just, just be a part of the community that is involved with whatever brand or thing that I generally like? And these Bored Apes are that for the NFT community and a lot of regular people outside of the NFT space. Now, NFTs are also so extremely unique compared to just your average brand that sells clothing, right? NFTs allow you to be a part of a community. In this sense, it lets people become a part of the... So what did I tell you? The Futures community, people we allow to join like these cool clubs. If we go over to their Twitter account, it's called. Uh... To become a member, you need to have an XRP ape. You're like be part of the Board Apes XRP club. People want to be a part of a community. That's the future. These NFTs allow people to feel like they're part of a community. Uh, you join the discord you're able to be a part of a whole community that also loves the same nft that you love and you get to be a part of people that are just like you um i had the video about the sgb punks and people are like who the hell would pay for these ugly jpegs and you're right some people won't but there will be some people that really love and want to want to have the knowing that they had the first ever sgb songbird network nft ever created and this one already before the market has even launched went for uh 17,500 SGB on the P2P market. So you never know. Um, these NFTs create communities and people want to be a part of these communities. And if they're sold out and we own all the NFTs, then the community basically sets the floor for the value. So that's kind of how it works. So uh, if you want to join the SGB punk community, you now have to basically get an SGB punk from someone who was part of the original mint. Maybe someone will gift it to you. I've had some people gift me some and it's one of the best gifts. Ever. It's a new form of currency. I'd rather have a gift of a SGB punk than some cash. So yeah, really exciting times with NFTs. It seems like Songbird, Flare Network are on the precipice of dominating. They have some big things. So uh, now you guys know the information for your SGB bank, uh, uh, bait, ape, how to claim it. And also, you know, if you want to get an XRP ape, you'll need a Bay coin. And uh, you have to get that on Sologenic Dex on their website. Okay, everybody, peace.